What's up guys, Baker here. Uh, tutorial, making a montage, forgot what episode now. It's probably like 14 or something. But, um, what I've kind of decided to do is just uh, kind of start working this on my own because what I'm doing now is just like, you know, timing up the clips and you guys should know that already. So, like... So far, there's nothing really new. I'm just going to be going over kind of like specific effects that I'm going to kind of do. But I want most of this to be like, you know, like a surprise. Like, I got a lot of stuff already. But, um, anyways, today I am going to try to do, um, I can find that comp again. I just lost it. Okay, the Pred Missile. This is going to be a fun tutorial. I can already feel it. So, it pops up, and I'm going to have a screen, and the, the laptop is going to show that and stuff. So, pretty cool stuff, cool tricks and stuff, so let's get right into it. So, I temporarily shut off the uh, color correction, just so I can uh, work a little bit faster and stuff. So, uh, we'll go to when he opens it, and before it gets dark, so not that one, that one. So, okay. and that one. Okay, so uh, split your layer. Boop. And then um, we're going to do, what should we do? So that's going to be now. Okay, so we're going to duplicate this. Duplicate. Meep. All right, this one, we're going to go and... I do believe we're going to cut it when it pops back on, right? Exact frame. Right there. And cut. And move this down. And then what's going to happen is this one right here in the middle is going to, we need it to freeze right there. So we'll go to that exact first frame right there of this top layer. Go to time freeze frame and we'll move this on the bottom and turn this top layer off so what we have right here is uh he's going he opens it freezes and then it goes to when he closes it close now what we need to do is take this footage on top and put that in there now what we could do is we could scale it down and try to mask it on the layer but if we do that so if i had like you know the mask right well, what if I wanted to, you know, move the layer or scale it down a little bit more? we got to fix the mask again. So that's a very bad way to do this. And what we're going to learn today is track mats. And track mats are going to be extremely helpful. You have no idea. So check this out. We'll turn this off for now. So we got this thing. And what we need to do is set up a kind of reference thingy of the screen. So we'll create a new solid. Doesn't matter what color, we'll call this matte. And uh, with it selected but turned off, we will go in here and with our pen tool, just kind of draw the outline of the screen that is showing. And of course, you can be as precise as you want. I'm just going to kind of go through this and fine tune it later, but just want to go over the basics. And boom. So what that did is made a black solid on the screen. But we need to use that as a mat. So on the five man pred, put the mat right above it and change the track mat to alpha mat. And if we turn that back on, there we go. Now it's in the screen. And now what we can do is we can take this, <coughs> we, <coughs> woo, we can take it and scale it down we can shift it over and it stays inside the mat, which is pretty awesome. So I'm going to scale it down to kind of show the most of what we got. And uh, if you see any type of, any little bit of uh, green coming in from that like top right, we take the mat, push MM, and expand the mask, maybe one pixel. And we probably need to feather it too. So maybe two pixels. So that kind of makes the edge a little bit softer to make it blend just a tiny bit better and uh i think it looks pretty cool and it should be timed up still because uh we cut it the right spots and boom he gets it and he closes it now 
it, weird stuff's happening right here. It actually looks kind of interesting. But uh, what we need to do is trim the footage inside the laptop with, um, you know, this thing. And so it closes and like that. Now another thing we need to work on is in the beginning, we see ourselves. And that's a little weird. So what we're going to do is kind of make our own little, like, fuzz. So I'll duplicate the mat. So Command D or Control D if you're on a PC. Make a new solid. We'll call this fuzz. And search up fractal noise. Drag that onto your fuzz. And we're going to change some of the settings here. So we'll set the scale down to 1. And that looks good. You can play with the contrast, whatever you want, to make it look how you want. And we're going to set this down, I uh, believe, below the other mat, but on top of the other uh, pred missile and stuff. And we'll go here, and we'll trim the fuzz so it starts there. And why don't we set the track mat to alpha mat as well. So, turns on, we got some fuzz, and we need the fuzz to fade out. So, push T for opacity. Click, look forward a little bit, and fade it down. And so let's check the timing. Maybe have it a little bit earlier. Maybe the fuzz goes out a little bit faster too. And we also want this to animate because it's all static fuzz. So if we go to the evolution, uh, hold Alt and click on the stopwatch. Gets our expression box. We'll type in time, star, and we'll go about, I don't know, 3,000. So it'll take the uh, evolution value and uh, just make it play on forever. And we got some animated fuzz. And um, one more thing I kind of want to add was uh, pretty funny. Um, do you guys remember Top Notch Multimedia? They did, they did the first like top five plays back like two years ago in COD 4 and stuff with Operator Perry. Well, for some reason, I just remember, because this is a five-man pred, I just remember one of the episodes, he freaks out on Showdown, and he's like, five, five. So I wanted to find that, and I used a... Uh, YouTube mp3 downloader kind of thing to uh, get the audio and I just wanted to uh, kind of place that in there to see how that would sound so I think I thought that would be kind of fun so I just set this back down and stuff so let me just look so let's see here I do believe it is right around here so <coughs> set this down to quarter for now we're gonna preview this really fast and uh, just take a look. He takes care of that with the shank. Quick scope. Lays down, waits for the respawn. Here they come. Five. He takes care of. So I'll just cut it when he says all that other stuff. So waiting for the respawn. Five. I don't know why that was so funny, but I just remember that. And waits for the respawn. Here they come. Five. Five. Sweet. So that's basic uh, predator missile kind of effect thingy. And uh, I got five minutes, so what else can I do today? Hmm, I don't know. That, that's a cool effect. What do you guys think? Boom! Sweet. Five. Oh, I'll show you a couple of uh, transitions that I was kind of working on by myself. They're not too hard, so I'll try to go over them really quick. Uh, but yeah, basically what I've been doing is just kind of lining up stuff. Um, triple headshot on vacant. Here it is. Okay, this one's pretty cool. So, uh, close your eyes while I ram preview this. And, uh, and boom, 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 boom. Okay, close your eyes for like 30 seconds, maybe. I don't know how long this is going to take to ram preview. I have so many things in this composition, it's like, Ridiculously laggy and stuff. But, um. Yeah. <coughs> How's it going, you guys? So, uh, it is 11 a.m. right now on Thursday, I think. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna upload this probably on Thursday. So, uh, pro uh, uh, I really don't know if I'm going to slow down on these because there's nothing really much to show you left except for, like, specific effects, which, you know, 
might kind of take me a while to figure out or think of. Right now, I'm just trying to line up the clips and get, like, the basic foundation going, you know? So, I'm still going to try to put out these episodes, but you guys should, uh, let's see, what's the word for it? You guys should be uh, capable of, you know, putting all these clips into After Effects now, that, now that you've seen it and how it works. And then uh, all I can really do now is just show you uh, a couple extra tricks and stuff. Which, you know, if you think about it, can just be done in regular tutorials nowadays, too. But, um, alright, check out this transition. So the scope rolls in here. Now, boom! So I'll teach you how to do that really quick. So I hope I do not mess up on this. So I'll just uh, unkeyframe all that and uh, delete the mask. So what happens here is use time remap so that it freezes in the beginning and then uh, it just shoots out on the beat. That boom shoots and kills the guy and it's frozen in the beginning. So what you want to do is if we solo this so that they don't get any uh, distractions here. Solo it. We'll take the ellipse tool and uh, click right in the middle. Now we need to hold shift to make a perfect circle and then command to make the circle where we started clicking. So that's a good way to make a circle right in the middle. So we'll click and then let go. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, play with the mask expansion. So if we push MM, um, right when he hits the shot, I'm going to go forward a few frames and expand it out like that. So it stays just the scope and then it goes boom expands out okay pretty cool now we need to animate the actual scope so what we're gonna do is just like a basic rotation with position so I'll go right when he uh, shoots right at that first keyframe uh, push P hold shift and push R that gets the rotation as well and keyframe both of those and then we'll move backwards and then uh, we'll just rotate this. Let's see. Gotta be this way. Do that a couple times. So maybe two revol two revolutions. So the second parameter is uh, degrees. This one's the revolutions. So that's good. So it's spinning to the left. That's what we want. And then we'll just uh, take this position and just keyframe it over there. So now. It looks like it's kind of rolling out and then goes boom. Pretty cool. And since it's spinning, we can actually put some uh, motion blur on it. So if we click the three little circles box for this, get some little bit of a uh, spinning motion blur. I mean, it's, it's fast anyway, so you won't really, really be able to notice it. But, um, I don't know. That's <coughs> a quick little transition. So time remap to freeze the beginning. And uh, I have a couple tutorials on that. That seemed a little slow. Maybe scoot these in then. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, you should be able to know how to do this already. Um, I have a bunch of tutorials. And uh, a lot of people ask me for things I've already done. You guys should check them out. I got a lot of stuff. A lot of helpful things. Uh, what else to talk about? 11 seconds to go. So that probably means I'm done. But, um, this is going to be a sweet montage. Um, oh, there it is again. But, uh, check out how much I've done so far. If I scoot all the way back. All the way up. So these over here, I haven't lined up. I just have them in the comp. But, um, if you hit Command or Control A, highlight everything, and then push U, uh, I got all these expressions and keyframes and more keyframes and double keyframes and all those keyframes and layers and key expressions and keyframes and layers and keyframes and quad and then just uh, close those out. And then that was about it for today. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, leave a like, uh, comments, rate, subscribe, boom stuff. What's up? Baker here. I'm out.